you. Thank you. Thank you. This just in, everybody. I'm Mary Lynn Rice, Cub International Superstar to the Stars. I'm here bringing you the news that's come through on my desk. As the virus toll mounts, the world faces the new Great Depression. This isn't going to work. It's not new. It's Great Depression. It's kind of a, huh. give me something unique. We've heard it before. We've done it before. Come on. If I had a staff to help me with this stuff, shout out, Chelsea. What's up? It's me and Chelsea up in here. Um, yeah, we need something original. Great Depression. Not going to work, guys. Yesterday on the show, we talked about a cloth toilet paper recipe, a pattern for, for cloth toilet paper on the show. I mean, I realized I didn't need a pattern. I could simply just use a towel, right? We talked about this on the show the other day. And there was a comment from a viewer on IG that asked, do we, do we have to cut the towel up or can we just start at one corner and work our way to the other so we still have the whole towel? This is a great question. You know, this implies that you want to use the towel again after you have used it for toilet paper. You want it to be a towel again, which I find very wise, very prudent, very forward thinking, very green. And the answer is there is no right answer. OK, there are no rules in this new frontier of using a towel as toilet paper. Think of yourself like a pioneer or a conquistador. Think of yourself as a conquistador, a, a conqueror of this uh, new land of cloth toilet paper. You know, that's what's great, all the innov innovations. And why don't you summon the ancestors, our ancestors, to find out what humans did before toilet paper? Oh, I'm getting information right away. We used uh, leaves, grass, ferns corn cobs, fruit skins, seashells, sand, moss, snow, water, hands. I mean, that's amazing. All these options. I can't believe I ever used toilet paper in the first place. Luckily, I have a pool. Not to be in your face with that, but I'm kind of a rich bitch, so... I'm just gonna use my pool. I'm gonna sell tickets to my pool for these new times. I haven't quite, I haven't quite thought it out yet, but um, this just in, I'm Maryland Rice Cub International Superstar covering the news that comes through my desk. Um, Governor Cuomo talks about um, waves of the virus and that it's now moving out to the suburbs. I mean, just like everyone else, the virus Wants to be more comfortable, you know, wants some more space. This just in, Passover told Trump, hey, we're here too, okay? And we're tired of playing a second fiddle to Easter. Gerbils are one of the top 10 pets, right before lizards and right after a piece of paper with a smiley face drawn on it. Turns out there really aren't that many pets, if you think about it. You got dogs, you got cats. I mean, I guess some people do a pig now. Tigers, you know. You think there's going to be more people doing tigers because of that show? This just in. People in Colombia are breaking corona quarantine to go see an image of Jesus in a tree. They're risking death to go look at a tree. I mean, my aunt got trampled on her way out of a Beatles concert, but at least she got to see the Beatles. Am I right? Hashtag am I right? This just in, I'm Marilyn Rice Cup International Superstar. Is having like a low grade sore throat all the time, is that Corona? How many people thought they had it today? Or like, is it by the hour or is it by the day? Do you think about it in the morning, in the middle of the night? Hit me up. This just in, talking to yourself is now considered being social. Acupuncturists now practice from six feet away. It's like darts, but instead of winning a pitcher of beer, you just feel better. And finally, I want to thank the drive through Starbucks employees. Not all heroes wear capes. Thank you, guys. Keep it real. Hit me up in the, com the comments. And um, 
this just in. I'm Marilyn Rice Cub. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. 